In this session, we're going to discuss the difference between the append, extend, and the insert methods. And these are the three main ways you're going to be using to add content to a list in Python. And the way we're going to do this is by doing our methods here in the middle. And we're going to look, a, look at a before and after of each of the methods so we can easily tell the difference. Now, before we try and dig into these, it's worth noting that these are what we call in-place methods. And when something's done in place, that means that we are permanently changing this variable from the point upon when we call the method. Let's say, for example, uh, we call append on line 15. That means that every anytime you use that list after that point, it, you're going to see the changed version. When something's not in place, it often means that we return a new version of that thing, and there's an old version lingering about somewhere. Let me show you a quick example of something that is not in place. Say I have A being equal to hello. I then do B is equal to A dot upper here. And then if I call along and then print, uh, let's print A and B like this and hit run. So see how we have the lowercase and the uppercase here? So this is not in place because we are returning a new copy of an uppercase string and A stays as it is here. When something's in place, so say for example if this was in place and that if I did an A to upper, this would mean that A is changing to the uppercase and it's permanently like that for the you know the remainder of the program. So just something worth noting that these three are in place operations. So without further ado, let's clear the screen and we'll dig into probably the most commonly used, which is append. Append simply adds a single item to the end of a list. So if I say numbers dot append here. Append takes a single argument, which is the one thing you want to add to the end of that list here. In this case, we'll go ahead and add 60, and go ahead and hit run, and there we are. So it's in place because, see how we, we call the method here, and then when we see numbers after that on line 15, we can see that the list has now been changed to now include that extra element 60. So to summarize append, this adds one item to the end of the list. Get that spelled correctly here. Now, uh, I think what I'll do, I'll, I'll blank these out as I move along to keep it simple, and we'll do a recap at the end. Uh, now, extend is kind of like append, sort of, it's very similar in the fact that it adds things to the end, but the difference of this is that it takes an iterable and then adds the items of that iterable individually to the end. So, let's suppose I want to add um, 70, 80, 90. If I just did this here, this isn't going to work because you cannot pass them as individual things. They have to be members of an iterable. So if I go ahead and run this, there we go. It says extends takes exactly one argument, three were given. However, if I pass in a single argument, but that single argument contains three items, then that is completely fine. We hit run and there we go. Uh, one thing to one thing I want to kind of raise here, this is one thing I see quite often. Uh, let's see. So say I did this here, numbers start extend hello. I'm gonna kill this one for a second. Now this, to some people, you know, especially if you're new to Python, you may think, well, this is a single item. However, a string is an iterable, so it's gonna add these as individual items. So if I run this, see how it's added the individual letters? Whereas if we change this to append, it considers the string as one entity, so therefore we hit run, and there we go, it adds hello to the end here. So just be careful, what, uh, the, make sure that the thing you're passing into extend, just make sure that you're aware of, you know, if that thing is an iterable, it's gonna add the individual items, so albeit, you know, things in a list or parts of a string. And then the last one we have is insert. So if we call numbers.insert, this one's a bit different because it takes two items. We see here it's prompting me for an index, then an object. If you're not familiar with what an index is, an index is simply a place uh, within a list. In this case here, 30 is that index of zero, index of one, index of two. So you're simply saying, where do I want to put this item? So if you want to put an item at the start, index zero, and then choose what you want to put in. Uh, we'll put in 20. There we are, 20, 30, 40, 50. Say you want to put an item uh, where the 40 is. So in this case, it'll put it here and push these guys back. So index zero, index one. Uh, let's put um, one and let's say ABC. So now it's going to go 30. At index one, we'll have ABC. And then this will then become index two, index three. And there we are. And just in case you go too far, 
it'll default to the last position here. Uh, and also what's kind of cool, if you do negative one, we'll index from the right hand side and we'll stick that item here. So well, this, this thing I think is, is kind of interesting because it looks like it would go to the end. However, in this case here, it will then push this last item, so 50, one place to the right. So just, uh, yeah, just be careful when you're doing this, <coughs> this negative one here. And of course, if you wanted to put things at the very end, then just go ahead and use a pen here. Uh, so last but not least, what I want to do is bring them all in together. Uh, let's do this as, let's do this as two. See what we get. I'm going to clear the screen. We'll hit run and then we'll examine the outcome and then we'll write our summaries for these two here. So we can see before we had 30, 40, 50. Uh, let's go through these kind of one by one here. So we first called numbers.append of 60. So we're going to add 60 onto the end of our original list here. So we would have had 30, 40, 50, 60. However, we then did extend 70, 80, 90. So we can see 60, which is what we appended, followed by 70, 80, 90. But then we came along and threw a spanner in the works and said, okay, now our index two and said ABC. So this went zero, one, two. So in this place here, we then put the ABC in, so therefore pushing everything down to the end. So let's just recap, we'll write our summaries here. So this adds items of an iteral one uh, to the end. There we go, just like that. Uh, and then this one here, so this adds, we'll say adds simply because the index comes first. So we'll say adds at an, let's say a given index, a single item here. Worth noting that insert does just do a single item. So adds at a given index, a single item. And there we have it. So that's append, extend, insert. One more time, append adds one thing to the end. Extend adds multiple things to the end. Insert adds a single item at a given position. Cheers for watching guys and have a great weekend.